Hello, my dear students. Today, we have a grammar lesson, a past continuous. Action back, unit eight, booklet page 37, 38, 39. Let's start. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to form a past continuous and when to use a past continuous. Now, let's get started. Take a look at these sentences. When to use past continuous? A temporary activity in the past. For example, I was watching television at that moment. Now, at, at that moment, which is a specific moment, I was watching TV. Then I stopped. I didn't watch it forever. It was a temporary activity. Next one. It was raining last night. It was raining last night. But then it stopped raining. It rained for a while. Then it stopped. Temporary situation today is not raining. Got it? And for the last one, they were swimming in the river yesterday. Now, they were swimming in the river yesterday, but today um, they are not swimming. As you can see, we were uh, at specific time in the past. So, the past continuous tense express something that was going on in the past or at the time in the past, then it stopped. Got it? Now, before we get started, it's good to know how to conjugate the verb to be in it is past tense. Singular forms, I was, you were, he was, she was, it was. Plural forms, we were, you were, they were. How to form a past continuous? Now, according to the rule, we use the past tense of the verb to be, so we use was or were, plus base form of the verb, plus ing. Now, we have many examples. Now, as you can see, in the beginning, we use the subject, he, she, it, we, we you, they, okay? Then we use was or were, then we need the verb, which is the base form, plus ing, then we need the complement, then follow stuff. I was working late. You were talking too fast. He was watching television. She was working to school. Okay, now for the floor of her, we do the same. We were singing a song. You were doing your homework. They were looking for a hotel. As you can see, we plus where does the base form sing plus ing singing. You, which is the subject, with you we use where, then we need do, which is the base form, then add ing, doing. So you were doing your homework, full stop. They plus where, we need the base form look, plus ing, looking for a hotel, full stop. They were looking for a hotel. Look at these sentences. I was talking on the phone. We were cooking dinner. They are in the past continuous tense. Okay, now past continuous and neg in negation, okay, with negative. Was or were plus not, which is wasn't, over and plus the verb, which is the base form, plus ing. We have many examples. I was waiting for you. I was, plus not, which is wasn't, waiting, wait, base form, ing, waiting for you. I was waiting for you. Next one, you weren't looking for me. You, which is the subject, after the subject we need the was or where, so with you we use where, then we need the negation, which is not, weren't, look, which is the base form, plus ing, which is looking for you, which is the complement, follow step, so we have this sentence, you weren't looking for me. Next one, he wasn't sleeping late. He, with, with was, then we add not, which is wasn't, sleeping, the verb base form, plus ing, then we have the complement late, follow step. He wasn't sleeping late. Next one, she wasn't talking in the phone. She, plus was, after was we add not, which is wasn't, talking, which is the talk, which is the verb, the base form, ing, then on the phone, which is the complement, then follow step. And the last one, it wasn't freezing. 
at plus was, then we had not, which is was end, freezing, which is the, the, the verb freeze, which is ing, and it was then freezing. So the negative was and were, then we add not, which is wasn't over end, plus as usual, verb plus ing. Okay, next part, past continuous, any questions? With the questions, we use was or were, then we need subject, then we need as usual, verb base form plus ing. We have many examples. Where, as we mentioned, where or was in the beginning, then we need the subject, then we need the verb, which is a uh, base form plus ing. Then the complement plus question mark. First one, where are we going in the right, where are we going in the right direction? Where, where, in the beginning. So with where we add we, going, go, base form, ing, going, complement <clears throat> in the right direction, then we add question mark. Next one, where you were right, where you arriving, by Perry? Okay, where plus you, then we need arrive, which is verb base form, add ing arriving, by Perry, then a question mark. And the last one, where are they eating their lunch? Where plus they plus eat, base form, plus ing, which is eating their lunch, complement, then we add question mark. So, according to the rule, was or were in the beginning of the question. Then we add the subject according to the was or were, which is the auxiliary verb. Then we add the verb, which is in the base form. Then we add ing to, this, to the verbs. Then we need the complement. Then we add the question mark. Got it? I hope that. Okay, now we have uh, the form for the positive, which is uh, the statement. Then we have the negative for the right side. Then in the corner, we have the question and the short answer. Don't care about short answer right now. Just we mentioned that. Okay. Now for the uh, positive, okay. I, she, he, it, plus was. Then we add base form plus ing. You, we, they, plus where. Then we need the verb in the base form plus ing. So I was working. She was working. He was working. It was working. You were working, you we, we were working, they were working. Got it? Okay, with negative for the right side, I, she, he, it, plus, wasn't or was not, then the base form plus ing. You, we, they, plus weren't or were not, plus ing. I wasn't working, she wasn't working, he wasn't working, it wasn't working. You weren't working, we weren't working, they weren't working. Got it? And with the questions, was in the beginning, then we add he, I, she, it. Then base form plus ing. Where in the beginning, you, we, they plus verb ing, which is the base form plus ing. Was I working? Was she working? Was he working? Was it working? For the plural forms, where are you working? Where are we working? Where are they working? Got it? Now, let's move to our booklets and answer grammar exercise. Okay, my boys, um, the past continuous tense, okay, which is in the booklet, page 38. Let's get started. At a specific time in the past, yeah, specific time. It's a good point. Now, let's start. You, we, they, okay, the plural forms, Plus where, all were in, okay. Then we need the verb, base form plus ing for all of these situations. Then we have the complement. Then we have the uh, keyword, okay. Uh, you see, 
the action was happen, uh, happening, I'm sorry, at a specific time in the past, then the action stopped for all of these situations, okay? For the singular forms, he, she, it, thus was, or wasn't, okay, for the negative, then the base form, then we add ing, then we have the complement, then we have the keyword, which is at five o'clock yesterday, okay? Now, all the keywords in the past, at five o'clock yesterday, at half past five on Saturday, at one yesterday, at quarter past three on Sunday. You got it? Okay, let's move on. Okay, now for questions, we add in the beginning, was or were, according to the subject, okay? Now, for the singular form, I, he, I'm sorry, um, I, he, she, it, we add in the beginning was, and for the plural forms, you, we, they, we add were in the beginning. Then as usual, the verb, which is in the base form, then we add ing, playing, visiting, buying, writing, going, painting. Then we have the complement, whatever it is. Then we have the um, keywords, okay? Then we have the question mark. You got it? I hope that. Now, let's move on. Group work, booklet page 39. Choose the correct answer. Now, according to the uh, to the uh, to the lesson to this lesson, we must do, we will be able to answer this exercise. Now, let's get started. I was in a cafe at six yesterday. I was now I plus was plus I need the base form plus ing. Which one in the base form plus ing? A, B, C. Yes, thank you. Which is C. Great. Next one. Now, Susie, a film at 6 have, uh, at six and 30 on uh, Thursday, okay? Now, Susie, with Susie we need was, or where? Come on, think about that. Yes, we need auxiliary, which is was, thank you. Then we need the base form plus ing, which is was version, yeah. Next, John and Dolly, which is the plural or singular? Yes, it's a plural, thank you. We use weren't or wasn't, Aren't no, aren't in the present. We need something in the past. So we use weren't. It is not singular. It's a plural. Thank you. Oh, we have a question here right now. You, with you, you cooking when I called you at three. Uh, with you, we use uh, was or where? Yes, we use where. It is plural form. One. Okay. The teacher was in at uh, eight in the morning. She, uh, Yes, she was in, in a class. Okay. Now, according to that, um, after wasn't, whatever it is, okay, after the negation, we use the verb base form plus ing. Read, reads, or reading. We need the base form plus ing, which is reading. Thank you. Great. And for the last one, was the cat sleeping? Oh my God. We must pick the correct keyword. Now, we mentioned before before that that the keyword must to be in the past now tomorrow future no not this one after two days after it's the future also no yesterday yeah this word talking about the past at one o'clock yesterday yes thank you great now <clears throat> next one Sometimes we can use one of the WH actually questions tools, okay? Uh, which is what? Before the questions, uh, the form of the question in the past continuous. Now, as usual, uh, was or were plus the subject plus doing, okay? Sometimes we use this form when we use what in the beginning, okay? Now, you see the action was happening. Uh, I'm sorry, the action was happening at a specific time in the past, then the action stopped. Now I will explain that with examples. We have two uh, questions, okay, with form questions. Now, WH in the beginning, which is what? Then we add was or were according to the subject, okay? Singular or plural forms. Then we add doing, always. Then we need the keywords. Then we add question mark. Okay, now, four questions, group work. One, 
She was working in her office at one o'clock yesterday. You see, the action was happening at a specific time in the past, then the action stopped. So it is a past continuous. Very good. Now we need to use the WH. Okay, according to the rule, I will show you the rule. Okay, now according to the rule, we add what? What? After what, we need to use was or where. So we have she, she, so we need was. We need the subject, which is she. Then we need to add doing, yes. It is, it is obligatory, it is not optional, okay? Always use doing with WH, which is what? What was she doing? Now we need the keyword, which is at one o'clock yesterday. What's your mark? That's it. Now, what was she doing at one o'clock yesterday? She was working in her office at one o'clock yesterday. Okay, next one. The students were reading in the class on Saturday afternoon. So, as usual, just add what in the beginning. I'm sorry. What in the beginning. What, then we need the auxiliary verb, which is was or where. Where. Then we need the subject. The student, according to the sentence voice, okay? The student, okay. Now after that, we add doing, just we use doing with what, okay, in this case. Then we, add, we need the, uh, the keyword, which is on Saturday. Yes, afternoon. Question mark. What were the students doing on Saturday afternoon? The students were reading in a class on Saturday afternoon. If you wanted to know that your question was in the rule and we have a, a good poem, you must do, you will you will be able to answer the question according to the uh, to the answer, okay? According to the question itself. Yes. Um, the last thing we going to discuss right now, which is the uh, talking about, which is the homework. You must to answer exercise six, workbook page 33, this one. Take it as a homework. Answer exercise six, workbook page 33, and thank you. See you next time.